Now it's time to say the Pledge of Allegiance. So everybody stand up, put your right hand on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Turtles. Today is Wednesday, January 13th, and today is the 83rd day of school this school year. Today, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Lincoln Perkins and Adriana Tyner. Happy birthday, guys. We hope you have a turtle-rific day. Today, on Wednesday, we have meal pickup in the back traffic circle from 12 to 2 p.m. and we have bag pickup in the front of the school from 2 to 4 p.m. We can also do meal bundles from 2 to 4 but please let Mrs. Gaskins know if you would like to have those meal bundles with your instructional bags. We are looking forward to see what our teacher of the year, Mr. Royston, has in store for us for the morning wake up workout today. And we are also excited to share with you in the next couple of days some of the amazing videos that you all submitted for Mr. Royston. They are great and we will be sharing them soon. Thank you so much for helping us with that and congratulations, Mr. Royston. Next Monday, there is no school for students or staff. Woo! -hoo! But why is that? It is Martin Luther G is the Martin Luther G Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. And so today we're going to do a little workout. It's a this or that workout where you are going to learn about Martin Luther King Jr. There will be a question. I will be your narrator. I will read it to you and then there will be two answers. Each answer will have an exercise attached to it. What you are going to do the exercise of the answer you believe is correct, and at the end of each time, you will figure out if you are correct or not. And hopefully along the way, whether you get them right or not, you will learn a little bit about Martin Luther King Jr. All right, Martin Luther King Day, a trivia and exercise game. So you're gonna have 10 seconds to decide the correct answer. I'm gonna read you the question. And then you'll have 20 seconds to do the exercise that goes along with the answer that you believe is correct. So where was Martin Luther King born? Columbus, Ohio or Atlanta, Georgia? Where was Martin Luther King born? If you think Columbus, Ohio, do lunges. If you think Atlanta, Georgia, do calf raises. If you selected Atlanta, Georgia, you were correct. Martin Luther King grew up being treated fairly or a victim of racism and segregation. If you think he was treated fairly, then jog in place. If you think he was a victim of racism and segregation, do a level two windmill. Yes, when he grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, he was a victim of racism and segregation. Martin Luther King Jr. became a famous civil rights leader or president. Civil rights leader or president. What was he? All right, standing side crunch if, you, if he was a civil rights leader and jumping jacks if he was the president. Civil rights leader is the correct answer. Martin Luther King's most famous speech is titled, I have a dream or peace and happiness. You're gonna do cross jacks if you believe it's I have a dream and you're going to do glute kickers if you believe his famous speech was peace and happiness. I have a dream, you got that correct. 
I hope you chose that one. Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream speech was given during a historical demonstration titled The Freedom Walk or The March on Washington. High knees if you think it was the Freedom Walk or agility work if you think it was the March on Washington. The March on Washington was the correct answer. Martin Luther King's famous I Have a Dream speech was given in front of which memorial? The Jefferson Memorial or the Lincoln Memorial? You believe it was the Jefferson Memorial? Skip in place. If you think it was the Lincoln Memorial, do a squat with two jabs. Squat, jab, jab. Squat, jab, jab. The Lincoln Memorial. MLK's work helped to create a law which forbade racial segregation in public facilities known as the 1964 Civil Rights Act. If you believe that, do the elliptical or the Luther Law. Do knee hugs if you believe it's called that. 1964 Civil Rights Act or Luther Law. And you should be doing the elliptical. Which prestigious award was given to Martin Luther King for his work as a civil rights leader? The Nobel P Prize for Peace or the National Peace Award? If you believe it was the Nobel Peace Prize, then do a quad stretch. And if you think it was the National Peace Award, do some jump lunges. It was the Nobel Prize for Peace. Martin Luther King Jr.'s day is a federal holiday which celebrates Martin Luther King's birthday or anniversary. If you think it was birthday, do squats. If you think it was his, for his anniversary, do bunny hops. Forward and backward. Keep your feet together. But you should have been doing squats anyway for his birth. All right, go ahead and say this with me. I am respectful. I am responsible. I am turtle ready. And we are turtle strong. Have a great day.